I'm Mike, I'm 38 years. I was uh, working as a dispatch rider. This friend of mine, he asked me if I could uh, help him to cash out some checks. Hi, my name is Jamalia Binti Junid. I'm 55 years old. I adopted this little girl when she was uh, one year, two months. It was a couple of months later when the police came to me and said that I was involved in the cheating scam. Actually, this little girl is belonged to my niece. My niece is in and out in prison, okay, and the baby, she just left it with my brother. So my mother went to the house and she heard a little girl crying and she looked around and she found a baby that's living underneath the bed. Mike was um, charged with four counts of aggravated cheating. Allegedly, he presented forged cheques to a bank for payment. I wanted to adopt this little girl and I came across to the CDC people, they would been helping me and they said that uh, maybe you should go to these uh, volunteer lawyers. A lot of people have a very poor or hazy understanding of their basic legal rights. The legal landscape for a lot of these people is something that's very challenging and very difficult to navigate. I have no money. How would I pay? I was really down, I was very depressed. I thought that I could lose this little girl. This is a guy who can't afford a lawyer. He applied for legal aid and uh, I was assigned to his case. If um, I'm not aware of the Law Society's pro bono services, um, there's no way out. Hi, I'm Yi Cheng, a Year 3 NUS law student and I did a two weeks internship in the pro bono services office. Class is Criminal Legal Aid Scheme. It is intended to help needy and deserving applicants with a criminal need. I, I believe there are a lot of people who are not really guilty but they are probably just at the wrong place at the wrong time. You don't want a situation where it becomes a crime to be poor because simply because you can't afford counsel and then you plead guilty to something you didn't do. As a freshman, I actually um, volunteered at a community legal clinic organised by the Pro Bono Services Office. When I went to the clinic, it was very fast. Everybody has been very helpful. We try to compact as much information for them as possible so that they can go away with at least a map of what to do next. I speak to the volunteer lawyer and she was very good. She said, no, we don't expect nothing from you. We try to help you. We want to hear your emotion and we want to hear what are your problems. It's important for us to help to clarify the issues and also show them the way to guide them towards identifying what options are available for them. That exercise in itself is very satisfying for me personally. The Little Arts Academy opened in November 2008. It's a fully sponsored program to provide kids that come from financially disadvantaged background, a platform to do visual arts, music, dance and theatre. Most charities don't have a budget for lawyers but they will have a lot of legal requirements. Project Law Help is an initiative by the Law Society where they match up law firms who want to provide pro bono services to charities and BWOs that need such legal services. We collaborated with um, PBSO to give us a talk on intellectual property. It was fun, it was engaging, yet at the same time it was very educational. After the talk, we were, we were so grateful for PBSO for doing this. Corporate lawyers, particularly, we deal with money day in and day out. It can be a very soul-deadening experience. We are always caught up in like commercial transactions, numbers, uh, submissions, arguments. But pro bono brings you back to the whole heart of the legal profession. Doing something which you know is tangibly and directly helping a charity, even if it's on the back end, like legal services, that's very rewarding. It's very it's very soul-building, if you like. I think pro bono helps you develop empathy in a professional context and that skill cannot be easily developed in the classroom. What Generation Y brings to the table, which is something that I've learned, is they have an idealism and they want to help change the world. I think pro bono work actually helps us to hold fast to the ideals that many of us entered law school with, which is like access to justice and seeing how the law actually helps the man on the street. If a young lawyer who's 22 or 23 years old feels that he can go and change the world, then somebody with a little bit more experience should be able to do a bit more and should be able to give a bit more. It's a privilege to practice and you know, with that power, you need to use it to help people. 
I did not know that this uh, things actually you know occur because I thought that you have to go directly to you know a law firm and beg for their lawyers to come and give us pro bono. But with a platform like PBSO, they made it very simple for us. You can face legal issues at every step in your life, you know, and it's very important that you get guidance. At least somebody is listening to you. You know, you're not alone. That kind of confidence that he gave me at the last, last few days of trial really impressed me a lot. On Judgment Day, I was acquitted by the judge. You always feel that you get more than you've given and that somebody else is blessing your day rather than the other way around. So it's always a situation where the giver actually walks away having received more.